Hey everyone, how are we all doing? Okay, so I know my lip is swollen. I don't know, I woke up like it. Um, anyway, everything I say in this video is my opinion, mine alone. Please feel free to do your own research and come to your own conclusions. With that being said, let's just get into today's video, shall we? Because I feel sick. Okay, I'm going to start off with EKC. Um, <clears throat> since that's the most recent one that I watched and it's still quite fresh, it was almost three hours and it was long. So EKC was talking about everything that a lot of stuff I'm going to talk about. And she brought back up the reading of Katie Joy's essay papers. Now... I remember a time when we all were kicking off. We were all going absolutely berserk. And why? Because Katie had gone and got a little girl's papers. And literally everyone was kicking off, including EKC. I didn't have a YouTube channel back then, so I didn't make any videos regarding her. What I do want to do now is say my piece on it, since it's been brought back up again. EKC said that she got the papers because of stuff that Katie said in regards to the police officer. Why do you even care? Do you know the police officer? Are you related to the police officer? Was there a reason? In particular, that you thought you wanted to be his saviour and save his career. I don't get that. I honestly don't get it. Why do you, why did you need to prove that she was lying? You also said that she hadn't told her husband about the essay. Until it was on the internet. <clears throat> so she didn't tell him. Maybe it was too painful to bring up. There was probably a very good reason why she didn't tell him. And that's none of our business. How you can sit there supporting the person as you do. While bad-mouthing Katie Joy and her lies about a police officer is beyond me. The absolute piece of crap who you support, openly, claiming that he's apologised for things he said months ago. But what about the things he said last week? What about the things he said this weekend? I don't see him apologising for those. Anyways. So yeah. There's that. Then let's look at the things that happened this weekend, shall we? It has been an absolute nightmare. And before I get into that, Charlotte being attacked again. Why? I don't know why Dottie decided to go after Charlotte. Charlotte hasn't even said Dottie's name. In any manner. But Dottie thought it was a good idea just to attack Charlotte. And then we've got this stuff that's come out over the weekend with Nat. <clears throat> and the biggest laugh is a lot of this is to do with Nat. A lot of the stuff with Charlotte being bullied is to do with Nat. Now, EKC said that Charlotte had already done that stream a couple of weeks before and had the answers that she was receiving again. So, if Charlotte wanted to come on every day for the rest of this year, 
and talk about all the threats that she got. The fact her grandbaby daughter was used as a fake Twitter account. The fact that she was having death threats. If Charlotte wanted to come on every night and talk about that, she could. I'm not too sure if people would be watching her every night, but she could. That would be up to her. Nobody has the right to tell Charlotte what she can and cannot talk about on her own channel. So, just give up. Leave Charlotte be. Charlotte is doing her thing. You go along and do your thing. So let's get into what's really happened this weekend. Nat has admitted to a hell of a lot of the stuff that was happening. She's also admitted to making a police report and a report to the CPS. Um, in regards to Katie, her husband, and their son. She also had help from a creator called Little Miss Noble, I believe. The pair of you are disgusting. Do you have any idea what that child would have had to go through if they believed what you said? Do you even understand what that little boy would have to go through? Intense questioning from appropriate people. Medical exams on his body that little boy has enough medical problems without having to deal with people asking him if his daddy done this to him he would be taken from his daddy and his mum and probably put in a K home until the investigations could be completed Do you realise the impact this could have had on that little boy? The stupidity of it all. And little Miss Noble, I'm going to say this to you, because you were the one who was helping her. You say in one breath you wasn't helping her, but you was helping her to wait to put it with the drop box and all this crap. You was helping her. Think of the damage that you could have caused to that family. My parenting and Katie's may be different. I know it's different. But that would never, ever give me the right to accuse them of doing these things to their little boy. There's one thing I know for sure. When I can hear that little boy playing with his dad, he is happy. I've literally heard him laughing, screaming laughing, the way a little boy should be. I highly doubt his daddy would ever, ever hurt him in that way. And I would never, ever, without any good reason, go to CPS, go to the police, 
and make these claims. I would have to have extremely good evidence to do this. There, there is not a doubt in my mind that either of them would do this to that little boy. Why? And then we hear that Nat has done this to a psychologist in the UK. The death threats, the emails. She should not be allowed on social media. She shouldn't be allowed on yet have internet access. God, please do not put it on her mental health. I have mental health problems. There is no way in hell, in hell, that I would put a child through that. I spent some of my teen years in, in a care home. It's not a place you choose to be. Of making up lies like that. That his daddy done that to him. How sick do you have to be? This isn't mental health. This is fucking psychotic. Did Katie not give you enough attention, Nat? Is that what the problem is? You wanted so badly to be her friend that you turned on her and did all of this. I will never, ever make another video on Katie Joy. I don't care what she does. I will not make another video because I am not part of the anti-K community. To make claims like Nat and Miss Noble has made. To contact CPS and make these claims. Nobody's thinking about that little boy. And before I completely and utterly freaking lose the plot, I'm going to call her a night, guys. What has been done is disgusting. I hope Charlotte's okay. What she has been put through is totally disgusting. There's no sense to her. No sense. Bye.